So the adjusting entry is that we're looking to put some supplies through. Now my supplies was 2,500 and we're looking now, it says the supplies on hand of the 31st of October are 1,000. That must have means we must have used up 1,500 worth of supplies. So now I need to adjust my advertising supplies to reflect this new balance here. So that's what I'm aiming to do. So what's my journal entry then? Does anyone know or can anyone help me? I always do my debit side of my journal entry first and we're going to use an account that we haven't used yet. So I'll need someone with their um, chart of accounts out. And my first account is advertising expense. What's the account number for the advertising expense? Has anyone got it? No, no, it's not 110, that's advertising supplies. Oh, okay. Yeah, advertising expense. $2,500. Yeah, it is, the, the value is 2500 but what's the account number? So, 505, thank you. Have a look on your trial, oh, not your trial balance, but your chart of accounts. Let me see if I can quickly pull out my chart of accounts. From my last topic. And where is my chart of accounts? I haven't got it in that one. I'll have it here in one second. Okay, so there's my chart of accounts. And we're looking at our supplies expense. That's my advertising supplies expense. So I really should say advertising, but it's 505. So that's from my previous handout. All right, so... And how much is it for? It's for $1,500. And now I'm reducing my advertising supplies. So... My account number for my advertising and supplies is 110. And it's for 1500 And what I'm doing is I'm recording my supplies used. Now, in our previous exercise, we made sure that we closed off our accounts or we put the transactions through our account. So this is my general ledger account. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to post this entry to my general ledger. So <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm adjusting and what I need to do is my debit entry first. So my advertising supplies expense... which is in account 110 and it was for 1500 So I record that. That's my debit item first. So I can tick that bit off. And my credit item is my advertising supplies. It's a credit of 1500 So advertising expense in account number 505 and it's for 1500 Is everyone okay with the first entry that I've done? I know I flips over two pages, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, a little slower. Um, a little slower? Okay. That's no problems. So I've just transferred the information from here into my supplies account and from here into my advertising expense account. Flip back. Flip back. I just leave that there for a moment. The 31st of October is this entry, the adjusting entry. So we're, we're doing this bit here. We've done a stock take on the 31st of October and we found that we only had $1,000 worth of supplies. So that means we have to adjust this account up here this account here to make sure that we reflect the, the decrease in supplies. Yeah, yeah. And that then is reflected down here in this account. So this is my advertising supply account. Had a balance of 2500 
We're reducing it by 1500 so the balance when we close it would be 1000 Alright, let's have a look at the next transaction, next adjusting entry. My adjusting entry is insurance is paid for one year in advance. So this was my prepaid, so it's a prepaid expense. And what is my entry? Okay, so we've got to adjust my insurance by $50. Now my insurance is a asset, my prepaid expense is an asset, and my normal balance is a debit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a expense account called insurance expense. From the chart of accounts, can someone tell me what the insurance expense account number is? 515. Beautiful. And we're adjusting it for $50. That means now that my prepaid insurance, which is account number 112, which is prepaid insurance, is going to be adjusted downwards by $50. And record insurance used. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to post that journal entry to my two accounts. So we had, from our trial balance, we had $600 in my prepaid insurance and now we're going to adjust that to reflect this entry here and we're going to recognise an insurance expense. So first thing I'm doing is I'm going to recognise my debit transaction which is, I've put the offset which is prepaid insurance. Uh, it's account number 112 and it's for $50. I'm putting the offset into the credit side, which is insurance expense. And it's uh, 515 for $50. Everyone follow that one? I'll take silence for being here. A few people still writing, I'll just pause and go slow. So now I've got a depreciation transaction. Now my depreciation of a lot of the costs of the asset to an expense over its useful life and it's saying that the depreciation of office equipment is going to be $480 per year or $40 per month. So what I'm aiming to do is recognise $40 worth of depreciation expense. So what's my uh, journal entry? Well, my expense is my debit, so I'm going to have depreciation expense. And it's going to be for $40. What's my depreciation uh, account number? From the trial balance, uh, uh, not trial balance, from my chart of accounts. Is depreciation mentioned there for office equipment? No, the 520 is the, yep, 520 is the depreciation expense. And what's the other side of my transaction? Does anyone know? No? Okay, it's accumulated depreciation. For office equipment. And that's 40. And my accumulated depreciation is account 131. Record depreciation for the month of October. And now I'm looking to make sure I can transfer my journal entry into my accounts. We're looking to look at my accumulated depreciation account and my depreciation account. Now what I'm going to do is I'll record my depreciation entry. It's my debit entry first. So I'll record that in my depreciation expense. 
My offset is accumulated depreciation. The account number is 131 and it's for $40. I now record the accumulated depreciation amount and that goes, my offset is depreciation expense. The account number is 520 which we're getting from down there and it's for $40. Now what's happened is my depreciation expense recognises the amount of usage of my asset. So if I've given my a life for the asset of uh, X amount of years, depreciation shows the use of that. So I'll be using office equipment fairly evenly out throughout its life. Alright, can I flip the page? No, not yet? Okay. Give you a couple more moments. Flip the page. All right, now it says here that there's a statement of financial position. Now, what would it normally look like? What would my asset account normally look like in my financial statement? And that's where I have my office equipment, which is my account 130, less my accumulated depreciation. which is account 131. Now in my account 130, I had $5,000 worth of equipment and in my accumulated depreciation account, it's that entry that I just created there, which is here, and it's $40. So that means the value that I carry of my asset is $9,400. Yep, I can hold it there for a sec. <laughs> so this bit here is what would appear in my balance sheet. All right. And I put the account numbers together so that they do appear next to each other in my balance sheet. Are we eventually doing this for uh, We will do... Yep. Why is it 4940 Oh, it should be 60 So... <laughs> Alright, let's move on to advertising services. My advertising, I received... 1,200 on the 2nd of October for advertising services to be completed, completed at the 31st of December with worth 400. I've got to sort of agree to with the guy who's saying shush. Alright, thank you. Ow. Alright, so I've got 1,200 received for, in October for advertising services to be completed on the 31st of December. It's telling me that 400 were performed in October. So now I can recognise $400 worth of revenue. And what I'm aiming to do is, from my trial balance, I've got uh, revenue received in advance. What I need to do is reduce this and reflect that I'm going to have some more service revenue of $400. So back to my journal entry. What's my debit entry? My debit entry is to reduce my liability first, so it's prepaid revenue. And my prepaid revenue account or revenue received in advance was 213. Yeah. And I'm recognising that I've received $400 worth of revenue, so I'm reducing that liability. My services revenue. Mm -hmm. 
which is account number 400, I'm now recognising $400 worth of revenue. And record revenue earned. I've got a question, why is? Um, yeah, 400 is the money that we've already made, so isn't your prepaid revenue is 400 minus 400? Yeah, okay, so this, so my prepaid revenue, yeah, that's right, my prepaid revenue is 1200 minus 400, so this 400 is the reflection of the reduction. So my account is at 1200, so what I'm doing is I'm posting an entry that reduces it by $400 and so my balance will now become $800. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Cool. Good question. Alright, so now let's post that amount. So I'm posting my debit amount. It's for $400. It's into account uh, $400 and it's services revenue. And I'm going to abbreviate to service rev. And I'm going to post my credit item now into my services revenue account and it comes out of prepaid uh, rev prepaid rev the account number is 213 and it's for $400 so now I've reduced my liability here so I've reduced my liability which was 1200 by 400 so the balance in this account now will only be 800 and I'm recognising $400 more revenue at the end of the period Oops, I slide those two across. All right. Commission's revenue. Our commission revenue earned but not yet received or recorded was $200. <coughs> so we've earned some revenue, but we haven't recorded or received it. So now I need to do the journal entries to recognise that I've got a receivable, so like an accounts receivable, I have what's called a commissions receivable. Does anyone know the account number for a commissions receivable? 105, beautiful. And it's for the $200. And then we're going to have an account which is called, have we got a commissions revenue account? We do. Can you slide that page over a little bit? Yep, I can. Oops. How's that? That's a bit better. Thank you very much. So I've got my commissions revenue and um, we're just going to put down a accrued revenue October so once again now I'm going to post my journal into my general ledger so I do my debit item first which is my commissions receivable so it's for $200 it goes, my offset is account 405 and commission revenue and I'm going to abbreviate that to com revenue and now I'm going to post my um, revenue account. So this goes to commissions receivable. And the account number it's offset is to is 105 and it's for Everyone okay with commissions receivable? Okay. So over we go. Alright, so we now we're going to have what's another... What we're doing is we're covering all the types of expenses, accrued expenses and prepaid expenses and accrued revenues and prepaid revenues that you can have. So now we're going to have some accrued interest, which is interest owing on a loan. So our loan was for 5000 My interest rate's 
and we calculate our interest uh, payable, so this is payables, and when it's a payable, it's a liability. So what's my, what I'm recognising first is my debit entry, which is my interest expense. Anyone can tell me what my interest expense account number is? 518. 518. Beautiful. And it's for $50. And now we've got a payable. So I'm going to have an account called interest payable. It's a liability. Can someone tell me the account number? 210. And that's for $50 as well. And my narration is going to be accrued interest. So now we're doing it again, we're posting our journal entry into our general ledger. I do my debit item first, which is my interest expense. So I've got a $50 item here. And my offset account is 210, which is interest payable. I'm going to abbreviate to interest or int payable. My accrued interest, oh well, sorry, my interest payable now needs to be posted. My offset was interest expense. The account was 518 and it was for $50. Stop throwing stuff at her. She's wanting me to communicate with you. I do hear a bit of noise coming from that area of the room. Alright. Oh, <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the next one. Which is called accrued salaries. My accrued salaries, salaries last were last paid on the twenty sixth of October. The next payment of salaries will not occur till the ninth of November. So we've got to recognise the rest of the salaries expense for October, which they're calculating to be $1,200. So I now recognise that I've got some expenses that I've incurred that I have not yet paid. And what I'm doing is I'm going to have an account called salaries expense. Is it called exactly? Yep. What's my salaries expense account number? 500. 500. And it's for 1200 and then I'll have another account called salaries payable which is a liability I'll just check that I've got that liability, yep what's the number? Yep. Um, accrued salaries this is my narration And then the last thing I want to try and do is I want to paste that to my ledger account. So we've already got some salaries expense, so we're going to be increasing it by another 500. Uh, it goes to my salaries payable, which is the offset is, and you can't see me off screen, the offset is the account 215. So I put in 215 here, and we'll call it accrued salaries, or abbreviated to Axel. I'm now going to recognise the second part of my journal transaction, which is down here, which will be offset salaries expense. The offset account number is 500, and the amount is 1,200. Actually, tell a lie. I put 1200 there. I wrote the wrong number down. 1200. So that then recognises my offset. See if I can get those both on screen at the same time. There you go. So that then recognises that I've posted all my adjusting entries for the month.